In this video, we will cover how to use Copilot AutoFix to fix the potential vulnerabilities in your code identified by CodeQL code scanning. Copilot AutoFix is available for all public repositories on github.com and we do not need to have any kind of subscription of GitHub Copilot to use this feature. This is also available for private repositories owned by organization that use GitHub Enterprise Cloud and have a license for GitHub Advanced Security. So as it is available on all public repositories and we do not have to have any kind of subscription to use this particular facility. So we are just going to see how to enable this and how to leverage this to fix the potential vulnerabilities in our code. So all this fixes which Copilot AutoFix is going to generate, it's going to be generated automatically by large language models using data from the code base and from code QL analysis. And the large language model what they are using is GPT-40 from OpenAI and this particular model has sufficient generative capabilities to produce both suggested fix in code and explanatory text for those fixes. Let's see that in action. So first of all, we are going to go to our repository. So this is my GitHub repository. And for this particular demo, I'm going to create a new repository. I'm just going to call it like demo auto fix and I will keep this repository public and then I will just add a readme file and I will just go ahead and create a repository and our focus in this video is going to see that copilot auto fix in action I'm not going to follow the standard practices what we usually follow in enterprise like having a multiple branches in the code and you know pushing the code via github actions so here I'm just going to directly put some code which is going to have some vulnerabilities and then we will try to see okay how this copilot auto fix is going to fix it and what kind of recommendation we are going to get from it so once you create this repository first thing what we have to do is go to this settings and once you go to this settings you will see this code security options over here you have to click on this code security and as mentioned in the document you can see over here like this is a copilot auto fix and by default like it's in on status so we do not have to do anything if, if you do not want to use the copilot auto fix then you can just go ahead and just put it in the off mode copilot auto fix is basically going to work on the alerts which is being generated from this code QL analysis so we also have to enable this and here you can see like it's asking me to set Set up code QL scanning for this particular repo so i will just go ahead and set up it i will just go ahead with the default one and you can see like here it's saying these events will trigger a new scan and on push and pull request to this main branch because we are just working on the main branch so we are just going to enable the code QL scanning on this main branch only so i will just go ahead and enable this code QL. And this is what actually we have to do over here to enable the recommendation from AutoFix. Once you do that, you can see repository settings saved. This initial setup might take a while because CodeQL will perform a full scan of the repository. We know like we don't have much in this particular repository. We have just created it and I will push some code into this main branch directly so that, you know, we can trigger the CodeQL scanning. So in this case, I will just go ahead and directly create a new file from the UI only and put some code over here. And this is a simple code where actually we are just creating and endpoint using a flask we are creating some table in the sqlite database and we do have some potential vulnerabilities over here where we are trying to select a data from user table and we are passing id like this so we know like there is some security vulnerabilities in this code and we are just going to see like how github copilot autofix is going to take this and what kind of recommendation we are going to get from it so it's asking to name this file i will just see sample.py and i will commit the changes directly over here and what i'm hoping as we are just pushing a code into this one so it should trigger that code QL scanning so we have pushed this and you can see like here we are getting one icon I will just click on this and you can see some checks have not completed yet one in progress check I will just click on details and you can see the code QL setup is analyzing this code this is still in progress so the scanning is happening it started 53 seconds ago we will wait for this scanning to be completed now we can see like it has been completed i will just again click on this it succeeded so it took two minute and five seconds to complete all the steps now what we need to do is go to this security thing and you can see now i'm getting you know two number over here so i will just go to security and in vulnerability alerts you can see i'm getting code is scanning so in front of code is scanning i'm getting this number so i will just click on this and here you can see the SQL query build from user control sources it's coming as a high and then the second one what I'm getting is flask app is running in the debug mode so there are two vulnerability issues which are identified by this code QL scanning we will just take it one by one so first we will go to this one SQL query build from user so it's specifically highlighting the query where we are having the security vulnerabilities you're saying like this SQL query depends on a user provided value if a database such as SQL on a SQL query 
query is built from user priority data without sufficient sanitization, a user may be able to run a malicious database query. So I'll just click on show more. You can see some recommendations over here. And this code color scanning is also giving a, a detailed example, like what exactly is the problem and what are the references, why the SQL injection is happening. All this is coming from this code color scanning. So as we have seen, Copilot Autofix is also enabled on our repository. So this is also saying, okay, speed up the remediation of this alert with Copilot Autofix for CodeQL. I can just go ahead and click on this generate fix and then it will try to suggest us a fix. I will wait for that suggestions to appear. Now you can see the fix. What's the autofix we are getting over here? So on the left side, we are seeing this particular query where we were having this particular vulnerability issue. SQL query build from a user control sources and all this thing. But at the right side, you can see it has automatically fixed this particular issue and it is trying to suggest us a right code to avoid this particular SQL injection in this case. And as a disclaimer, we are also getting, okay, this is powered by AI and may make mistakes. So always verify output. We know like in this case, this should be the right recommendation. What we can do is we can just go ahead and create a PR with this fix. It's also enabling this particular button for us to create a pull request. So I will just click on this, create a PR with this fix. It has created this autofix alert branch and now it's saying, okay, from this one, we can merge the code into main one. I will just go ahead and click on this merge pull request. It has also put this particular message or comment over here. And I will just go ahead and confirm merge. Now you can see like pull request successfully merge and closed. If I want, I can go ahead and delete this particular branch. So now if I go back to my code again, and look into this main branch and you can see the other branches automatically created for autofix and we have you know merge our code from this branch to this branch if you want like we can delete this autofix branch as well so just to verify like i will just go ahead to simple.py now you can see the code has been updated automatically other thing what we can see like this is coming in pending so this is in progress so i will just go ahead into this one and because we have performed a merge into a branch so again the code ql analysis is happening so we'll wait for this to be completed first now this has been completed so if i go to code scanning now so now you can see in this case the earlier issue got closed and now we do have one remaining so i will go to this open one where the code is running in the debug mode and you will see the recommendation and the details over here again it is providing us this particular option so i will just go ahead and click on generate fix to fix this problem, we need to ensure that the Flask application does not run in debug mode in production environment. The best way to achieve this is by using an environment variable to control the debug mode. This way we can easily switch between development and production settings without changing the code. So to modify this, it has recommended this particular option where we have to use this OS package and using this OS package, we have to get the environment variable and then using this environment variable, we have to set the debug mode value. So again, I can do the same same thing I can create a PR with this fix and I will just go ahead and uh, create this merge and I will just click on this confirm merge this has been merged so I can go ahead and just delete this branch and the fix should be applied in our code now so I can just go ahead to this main branch and here you can see the code has been applied over here just to make sure the debug mode value is going to be false by default so because again uh, this has been merged into this our scanning would be in progress we will go to details and wait for you know this scanning to be completed again and then we can just go ahead and check our vulnerabilities so now this has been completed we'll again go to security and again we'll go to code scanning and here you can see like all these two issues have been closed whatever we had earlier and there is nothing remaining as such if you go to our code then we can also see like we are getting this success option over here it means like there is no vulnerabilities left in this code and whatever we had we had fixed it using github copilot autofix this was a very simple demo just to show you like how we can enable this github copilot autofix on our repo and use it to fix the potential issues that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching